Hi Gemini, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-April general reading. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Gemini welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Gemini, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Gemini, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Gemini, how are you? I love y'all. Let's get right into this. I hope you're all doing well. Again, this is your mid-April general reading. We're doing a nine card spread, which is past, present, and future. I'm saying two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for mid-April. Um, and y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, my loves. Ooh, your counterpart is at the bottom of the deck. It's ego in this deck. Uh, El Diablo, we've got the devil here, card of Capricorn. You're the lovers in the major arcana, um, and this is your counterpart, okay? Uh, wow, 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 wow. Nine of wands, two of earth. Um, this is definitely some type of either union with inside of you coming together. Some of you, this I just immediately heard counterpart. The other, I, I don't like when people are like the be my better half because you're whole and complete as is. Um, but this is uh, some strong energy here. Something really big is coming in for a lot of you. 15 or sixes could be really important. Yeah, they're showing me like a lot of sixes, which are about victory, overcoming something. So for a lot of you, um, like a technical thing I'm picking up here is a lot of you could be overcoming like an addiction, um, a codependent like relationship or a codependent like mindset. Very good. All right. We're going to go to the recent past. High Priestess, your intuition was calling at you. Seven of Pentacles. Your intuition is very strong. Y'all have been practicing using your intuition, right? What does that mean? If you feel like, say, for example, you're like, I always go to that same coffee place every day, but today I feel like I'm going to try that one. Like you're listening to your guidance system. Very good. Recent past Gemini. Uh, all major arcanas, this is a major transformation. It's a really intense uh, reading. Uh, 13, release, uh, which is the death card, card of Scorpio. Some of you could have been or are dealing with a Scorpio. Then we have the Hermit, card of Virgo coming out. Page of Cups. A lot of you have been doing a lot of like meditating, spiritual work, alone time, releasing. Two of Pentacles, releasing. Um, something that was overwhelming. A lot of you have made something a priority. You've made something a priority is how they're saying it. The sun card, your happiness. You've made your happiness a priority. I love that for you. Um, there it is again. They go look at the numbers again. 9, 13, and 2. It's a six again. You overcame something. For a lot of you, you might have been in hermit mode recently, um, just spending a lot of time. Um, again, like writing, letting go of this. I'm not that person anymore. This is more important than this thing. Like really basically getting your priorities straight in the recent past, but on a very, very high level, high respected energy. High priestess, death card, hermit. Those are all major arcanas. This is a big, it's like you've kind of, turned into a different person, if you will, energetically speaking. And I mean that in the most high respected, good way possible at all. You know what I mean? Current energy, Gemini, please. What's currently happening mid-April? I'm 
another major arcana and the page of wands so unity this is the hierophant by the way um this deck by the way is a super old school deck that i haven't used in many 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 years actually that i was definitely called to use for these today it's the archangel tarot deck by the way current energy unity high level commitment this is um the hierophant in a traditional deck um we have the page of wands the younger fire this is about good news a new adventure starting to they're showing me like an egg open but not crack quickly it like a, an egg opening slowly so for a lot of you this is like a new path being available to you around unity high hierophant energy high level commitment um to a job to a person to a situation most importantly to yourself and your dedication to what you've released and come into recently like a lot of you are again are a whole new person like your energy has elevated you're in this high level commitment type energy of you're in this high level commitment energy what i was wanting to finish saying the Hierophant, the, the, the unity card is about being the teacher. You're seen in whatever you do. A lot of you have maybe had to pull back your energy in the recent past. And maybe you didn't know why, because you're on display now. Like other, everyone can kind of see you, see you in a different light, see you as an authority figure. Now people see you as a teacher, as a positive, like a, a, this is like a strong role model energy. They want me to put these back awakening the hangman and the 10 of swords came out, but they flew on the ground and so what that means is a lot of you have also finally stopped like hangman ten of swords is like man i didn't know how hard i was on myself i i'm picking up almost a little bit of like perfectionist energy um that's your mercury stuff you're ruled by mercury which you share with virgo i'm picking up a lot of either like virgo energy but perfectionist energy in the in this situation gemini where you don't have to be perfect at something, right? You're just like, I don't have to be, you know, like if you're in a new role, a new position, you're the teacher now, you're in a higher position. A lot of you are like, but I want to be the best at it. I, I want to show my best face, best foot forward kind of vibe, but you don't have to. You don't have to be perfect at your new job. You don't have to be perfect in a new connection. You don't have to be perfect in the new version of yourself, right? Like, for example, when I first started my channel, like, you know, I don't think I was a great reader. I mean, y'all might disagree, but I was nervous and I wouldn't show my face. And, you know, I had to learn. It took me a while to get a lot more confident, A, in front of the camera and B, doing what I do. Right. So what, what I'm trying to say is there's something starting for you where there's an underlining fear for a lot of you of like, I have to be perfect at it. But you don't. Let's move on. Current energy, Gemini. Yeah, you're on fire. This is beautiful. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the fire sign. We have the page and the queen, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the sun card. Oh my God, Leo energy. This is like big. And all the cards were like a blue purple and now they're going into red. So it's like kind of where things have felt kind of gray, kind of meh. It's like the color has been turned on now. Like... We've gone from gray to color. You know what I mean? Like watching a TV in black and white, boom, now the color is back in. You know what I mean? That's the vibe. You're, you're, you have a lot of confidence right now with the queen of wands, male or female watching. Um, just very creative, very like sure of yourself, not in a cocky way. Um, some, I'm hearing someone's amped up. Y'all are amped up, fired up, <laughs> okay? What's coming in for Gemini? Future energy. There's the hangman again. You're about to see... Oh my God, you're about to see what everyone else sees in you. You're about to see like yourself in a new light. Hangman's right here. What's this? A victory, a win, six of wands. Yes. Let's get the last one, please.
I'm dead. I can't. Oh my God. You guys, the sun card came back out. I can't. Card number 19. This is amazing. What did I literally just say? And then the card came out. You're about to like finally see what we all see in you, right? Your beauty, your handsomeness, your, your strength, your, your creativity with the queen of wands. Like a lot of you are not giving yourself enough credit for how creative you are, how, whatever like you're this is like lighting up the room energy big time big time major major glow up vibes like but times bazillion knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck seven of fire ten of pentacles oh my god this is a very very abundant new chapter like again it's not like boom it's right there it's like it's like a soft opening, right? Like when sometimes business is like, we're going to do a soft open and like test it out first. Like that's also the vibe here too. Because something potentially has nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles attached to this situation. Long-term stability, long-term abundance, long-term stable foundation. The pentacles also talk about health, like healthy energy, um, grounded energy. So anyways, this is freaking amazing. You're about to have a victory where you didn't see like how brilliant you are, how much in the spotlight you are. Like literally the sun is coming out because you, because again, a lot of you went back inside or like something's maybe not right in my situation. I want to fix this. I want to fix work on myself because right. Um, God, these lyrics have been coming in so much. The Gojira lyrics. Uh, when you change yourself, you change the world, Right. When you change something with inside of yourself, not only does that benefit you, it be benefits your your partners, your 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 family, and also your entire like generational like bloodline. Like that, it's it's huge when you do the work, and y'all have been doing the work here. High level commitment on the table again, whatever that means in a relationship. Um, that's opening up for a lot of you. It's like a career path where you're going to be seen like on spotlight, like major center of attention, platform energy, big time for this group. And a lot of you too, there's a little resistance. The seven of wands is under your, under your knight of pentacles. A lot of you again might be like, can I do this? Is this for me? There's like a little bit of a hesitation of self doubt, but I mean, I feel like that's normal when something like this happens. They're showing me a bow and arrow in this situation. Like you've been on target on the right path, but before you could hit your target, what do we have to do? Bum, 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 like pull that thing back, right? So we're hitting our target. We are hitting the target, sun card. I am loving it, obsessed. This is absolutely amazing. Four of Swords. I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarifica clarification deck to get to save some time. Oh, thank you. I stumbled on my words to remind y'all that Mercury retrograde is happening at the end of April, right? Yes. Check in with your local astrologer. But yeah, we're going to Mercury retrograde soon, aka your planet. It's not really moving backwards. I feel like they say it just is like kind of stationary and it looks like it's going backwards. So now it's going to be a great time to review what's actually going on, what new blessing, what new thing is coming in actually during your Mercury retrograde. I think this is actually all working out for you in your favor. Let's go back. What's this high priestess about psychic abilities? Um, things have been enhanced for a lot of you. A lot of you have been like really tapped in and tapped in, turned on, tuned in. Abraham Hicks coming in. Yes. So I'm going to be listening to Abraham Hicks, that she slash he was a part of my spiritual awakening. That could be for you as well. In a relationship setting, I just now saw this high priestess, death, hermit, some of you, like you can feel that this is like the last round of you being alone or single that kind of thing, or, and again, in partnerships in career, you're like, yeah, I know that I'm about to have a, like a business partner, or I know I'm about to level up. Yep. 
You're otherworldly. This group is otherworldly, they said, like not from here in a good way. <sighs> okay. Sorry, my dad, my dad just came through. He, my dad was a Gemini. <sighs> What's this high priestess about in the recent past? The sun card came out. <laughs> we have two sun cards on the table, Gemini. Y'all are happy, very happy. Well, look at you. Oh my God. All major arcanas again. On the high priestess, was that feeling? The internal intuition feeling. We have the sun card. We have the hangman. We have the hermit. A lot of y'all saw the light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of y'all saw, I can do it. I can, I can, I can reach a goal. Like the, what was the sun? What is coming in for you? The star, the 10 of cups, probably a, a wish fulfillment around a person, a situation. Um, oh my God. Basically what I'm picking up is that y'all saw a glimpse of what your future could look like in a career setting with a person in in your own awakening my life could look like this is what i'm trying to say it's like you had a vision a high priestess is very intuitive psychic energy hangman hermit then you go cool i see the vision i need to do the internal work now hangman hermit a lot of you again hermit again virgo energy you went inside it's like doing the homework meditation releasing things that don't serve you very diving deep on this group. Very, very good. A lot of you have been, I'm hearing like turning things down that you would, that you would maybe normally do like kind of saying no to old vices, old situations where you normally would do that. You're like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. No, I'm going to chill on that. Look at you. I'm literally, there's so much energy here. Let's look at what you were releasing in the recent past. Release is also the death card, card of Scorpio. Those are dealing with a Scorpio. What's this release about? But it does say release in this deck, which I'm, I, it's like something that you were, and they even said detaching, like a lot of you are detaching from something. Okay, King of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It's too good. You're releasing your sense of being perfect. You're releasing your sense of like, I have to be the best at something. I have to go all the way at something. No, you write your own rules. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. Why are you defensive? Ten of wands, king of wands. You also don't want to let something go at the same time. Something's, something also is, is opening up for you, going really well. And some of you are like, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. But what I'm getting of what you've released and let go of is King of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Like, again, being perfect. Something about what y'all create, you always feel like it has to be smooth sailing. It has to look the best. I have to dress really good. I have to, like, I'm getting, like, formal energy. Like, some of you maybe work in a profession where you're like, I have to wear this like suit or this, you know, whatever. And you're like, no, I'm going to do my own thing. You've also had to release the idea of not being good enough. Wow. That was deep. All right. Let's look at the hermit. What were you doing in hermit mode? Also, a lot of you are doing with a Virgo. What's been happening in hermit mode, nine of cups, you've learned to make yourself happy, babes. This is so amazing. A lot of you have been doing, like focusing on you, choosing you, doing you. And when you do that, it, it's so, it, it's so big. It's so good for you. Like learning how to fill your own cups is priceless.
In Hermit Mode, we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Magician, the Fool card. Yeah, a lot of you, it's the Bow and Arrow energy. You have your eye on the prize on something, but I know I need to practice a little bit more. Some of you um, in like relationships and stuff, um, if you've met somebody, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, someone is a wish fulfillment for you that you've manifested and you can't believe you've manifested it. It's a new chapter, new beginning, but what you are maybe spending alone time uh, about was Eight of Cups. Some of you might have had to let other flings, dating, that kind of situation, those let those go if you met someone new. And or like if you're not letting go of other people, and some of you might have just been still emotionally attached to an ex, an old, you know, an old something there um, that you're like, I need to have more emotional capability for this situation. Channeled messages today and this one is just on point. Yes. A lot of you had to do your homework, if you will, if you will, to know to like to get this prize or to get this thing, to get this this goal that you are getting. This is great. Three of Wands. This is something that you've been waiting for. What's your um, Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment? Oh, it was a tower. Oh, it came out of absolutely nowhere. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. It's something stable that you have prayed for. Let's look at um, Unity right now. Your current energy, Hierophant. You're the teacher. You're the guru. People come to you. Um, when they need something like that kind of vibe. I'm hearing compromise also. All right. What's this about for Gemini? Yeah. Compromise. Temperance came out. Sagittarius energy. You and someone might be like working something out, compromising. Knight of Swords. Beautiful. Three of Cups, Reunion, Celebration. Excuse me, Seven of Cups. What's the message about? King of Cups. What's the Three of Cups about? Queen of Wands, who we're going to talk about. Okay. So for a lot of you, this is like a, um, a getting to know you phase with somebody, getting to know your new job, getting to know your new job title, getting to know the new team that works with you slash for you for a group of you um some of you are making some kind of promise or commitment to yourself around healing um again like slowing down on certain like vices and stuff like that drinking smoking whatever zero judgment on my part like hello duh um so some of y'all are definitely slowing down on that yeah cutting something off lovers you and what are you committing to six of cups a lot some of you do like want to have have children or, or reconnect with someone from your past you're seen as like a healer you're seen as you're seen as like a a light being in my i just had like a heart palpitation when, that, when i said that um you make people's like heart go crazy like people get ex like excited to see you. Let's move on. What's this new path opening up for you? Page of Wands, exciting good news coming in. The start of something. Ace of Swords. Yes, this is something that you didn't see coming. Four of Cups, it's an Ace of Cups. It's probably new love for a lot of you. Uh, and then again, love. Could be romantic love, a new friend. Um, or a new creative endeavor, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. What's the truth on this? Six of Cups. There's a past life connection opening up for a lot of you. Um, some of you, again, again, I'm like something about children is coming in. Why would you be Nine of Wands about this new path? Why would you potentially be... Like having your walls up towards a new person, a new experience, and that new job title, like whatever. What are your nine of wands about that? Queen of wands. You don't think you're attractive enough. You don't think you're hot enough. You don't think you have the confidence to do 
whatever this is. They want to put it back because she's who we're going to clarify right now. Which is also a version of yourself. Like you're, you're, you have so much confidence or you're about to have so much confidence. Um, strong fire energy. You're very inspired by someone or someone's very inspired by you. I see that other people really look up to and are inspired by you, Gemini. <clears throat> What's this Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire for Gemini, please? Wow, it, I, I can't. It's so good. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, Nine, nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant. I'm hearing you can do it from, isn't that from like the water boy? You can do it. I love that. Like you have literally put down a burden of getting in your own way in whatever this situation is. And then you get, and then when you do that, when you, when you, when you physically put the energy down of, I can't, I'm not enough. There's no way they don't like me. It's a lot of self-sabotage betrayal energy that's like, I have to stop doing that to myself, right? Boom, I'm the shit, I'm amazing, I'm confident, I'm hot, boom, boom, boom. That's what you tell yourself every day, not the other story of, no one likes me, I'm not enough, I can't do it, I'll never, blah, 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 that negative stuff, we gotta go, and y'all know that. Nine of Pentacles. You're doing really well. A lot of you are really like good entrepreneurs energy here with the queen of, uh, I'm sorry, queen and the nine of pentacles. What are you so in your head about? What's that eight of swords? What, what, what gets at you? King of swords, knight of pentacles. Again, that perfectionist energy of like needing to be the best, needing to be perfect, or at least needing to, pe to appear as such, but you don't. What's this victory coming in for you? Six of Wands. Like you might be in a situation coming in where you're on top of the world and you're victorious where other people around you, friends and family members might be going through a difficult time, but this is your time to shine. Six of Wands, Gemini. What's this victory? What you were looking for. What? Victory again, Seven of Cups. What you were looking for was right under your nose is what they said. Nine of Swords and you couldn't believe it. Something you were looking for was right under your nose. And also I have to say this, this, this thing again. I just said this for Sagittarius and I just posted this on my Instagram story a day or two ago. And this is that exact type of energy. When you stop chasing i want to get this right when you stop chasing what you want when you stop doing that when you stop chasing what you want you fall into what you need or you get what you need very good why the double win it's like because we have double uh six of wands this is a double victory also with the King of Swords, this is you and your masculine energy. You could be dealing with another air sign in the future, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a masculine's final decision or, or you, femme, a lot of femmes watch, you and your feminine energy making a, an executive decision from your masculine side within you, six of wands, that you're amazing. You can do it. You're, that you've got this. Why the double six of wands, please? Why the double victory? It's like a, it's like they showed me a roller coaster and it's like going higher than you ever thought that it could. Uh, so cool with the visuals today. Five of cups, ace of wands. You never thought you would get to this place in your life. You never thought you would have this particular win, this particular situation. The reason why it's a double victory is because you're extra on top of the world, if that makes sense. What's this uh, awakening card, Hangman? This is you seeing a situation, a person in a new way, yourself in a new way. High Priestess, you could feel this. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups. A lot of you, again really on a really really deep level you see yourself again i'm gonna go ahead and say the way that we all see you 
right? And I mean that in a loving way, two of cups. Like a lot of you didn't know how beautiful, beautiful you are or handsome you are or creative that you are or nurturing you are, like all this cups energy. And also a lot of you, nine of swords, eight of wands, two of cups, um, have been intimidated by somebody else, two of cups, someone you want to be in a connection with. Um, cause we have the high priestess, queen of cups, which is my relationship queen. A lot of you were like scared that someone didn't want to talk to you, get your number, that kind of thing. But with the two of cups, it's like, boom, they're right there. Like I'm seeing cheers. They're like, yeah, no problem. Cheers. That's what was unexpected. You're seeing yourself in a new way and therefore now we all see you in a new way. Beautiful, Gemini. Yes. Why is the sun here for you? The sun is out. This is like literally the happiest, most high vibrational card in the entire deck of 78 cards. And you got this one. Come on now. Wow. That is amazing. It's about a message coming in of a new beginning. Why is the sun coming out for Gemini, please? Wow, it's a, your new chapter. I love this. Oh my God. This is the new chapter that you've been waiting on. Three of wands, two of wands. This is a step up for you. This is a step up. Do you see the wands? You were down here. This is a new step. There's so much room for... Why are so many funny movies coming in right now? So much more room for activities. So much more, yeah, so much more room for activities. Oh my God. Uh, uh, Step Brothers. That's my my favorite uh, like funny movie, like comedy is hands down Step Brothers. And if y'all haven't seen that movie, Gemini, Rude, that is your homework. But anyways, Six of Cups. This is... This is like your dreams from like when you were a kid, like panning out for you better than you would have ever, ever, ever imagined, like ever. Yeah. And you never thought it was ha would happen. Five of swords, seven of swords. A lot of you are like, yeah, I'll never have that high paying job. I'll never get that person or I would never, da, 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 da. I'll never fall in love again. I'll never reach that goal I'm trying to get. And you know, the only person that was getting in the way was you. What's the Six of Cups on your Sun card? Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. It's about your self-confidence. A lot of you, again, have really been working on your confidence, maybe your physical body, your physique, your style, your... Also, Wands are about your behaviors, the way that you act, show up, walk the walk, that kind of vibe. So basically what I'm trying to say is, A, you are becoming or have become the person that you've always wanted to be. And now we, not only can you see that, but we see that in you, right? And we've always seen that in you, but the most important thing is that you see that. Very good, Gemini. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. We're going to do your pick a card. Um, and those of you that want to join us, uh, Page of Cups flew out. Those of you that want to join us for your love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Gemini that won the pick a card this time is Mary K. Burke. Mary Kay Burke, you are my winner. Okay, so Gemini, if you want me to pick your name next time for the pick a card, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. Um, thank y'all so much again for everything. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. All right, Mary Kay, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Someone's upset about you. I'm here. This is so random. So random. I actually talked, I just talked about this movie in, I worked on Sagittarius before this. This came up in their love reading. I'm hearing, I told them about the movie, that thing you do, but for you, I'm hearing the actual song that they sing in the movie. You doing that thing you do, breaking my heart into a million pieces like you always do. Y'all know I don't sing on this channel because I just don't do that. 
Uh, but this is someone saying that to you. Someone's like kind of messed up over you is what I'm feeling. Like missing you. Let's move on. Spirit, what do we have from Mary Kay? Gemini energy, please. Two more. Thank you, Spirit. My name Ashley is here. Ashley. Okay, you have the hangman at the bottom of the deck. You are getting a change of perspective, Queen of Cups world card. You are going to see a relationship in a new way. You're going to see your own love in a new way. You're about to see, kind of like the Gemini general reading we just did. Um, you're about to see yourself or a situation in a new light. I'm hearing new skin. Mary Kay. Judgment. There's a resurrection. There, you're getting a second chance to do something, invest in something, or learn something again. Or someone's having a second chance to invest in you. Someone's getting a second chance. With judgment and the wheel and a five card spread, that is a thousand percent major second chances. Mary Kay, Gemini. It's a wish fulfillment, it's a dream come true. In this deck, the Nine of Cups is like the Ten of Cups. Oh, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. Yeah, it's about a connection. It's that, pers it's that person, judgment, or I'm sorry, not judgment, magician. Judgment, Princess of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Magician. Someone's manifested a resurrection, a redo, a second chance with you, or you've prayed for that for, with somebody else, and it's totally happening. And it feels good. Let's look at it. Six of Cups was also there. You could have children with this person. You could have known them from an earlier time in your life or from a past life. What's Judgment about? It's like someone who is asleep is finally awake. It's like there's this, it's like in this deck, it looks like the sun card almost. And it's almost like the Gemini reading again, where something's been in black and white and now it's in color. Or it's felt that way. What's judgment about for Mary Kay, please? Oh, someone sees you as the Empress, King of Cups. The sun card, I can't, I knew, I, the sun card came out. Empress, divine feminine, you, king of cups, a masculine who loves you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone someone definitely probably in your love life is wanting a second chance with you. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, or Leo. Doesn't have to be, but those are all the signs that came through. Princess, what the heck? Hangman. I told you it's your divine masculine seeing you in a different way. Seven of cups. This person, seven of cups to you, they probably had to explore their other options. See if the grass was greener kind of vibe. It happens. Yeah, four of wands. But they're like, no, you're my person. Four of wands is a commitment. Five of pentacles. This person is literally sick without you. I'm telling you, that song came through really loud. That thing you do. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're going to challenge this person, Nine of Pentacles. You're not going to say yes at first because you've you've matured in, in your Queen of Pentacles energy. I know you're heir, but you're this Queen of Pentacles here. It's like you watch this person. I, I want, I'm seeing someone kiss. Like you even maybe witnessed someone that you like or made you an option. Um, and it, it could have just even been like a little kiss on the cheek or something, but you were like, yeah, mm -hmm, I saw that. Like 
But anyways, the, the turn of events here is that this person thought it would be really easy to walk back in your life, but you're giving them hell. Like you're making it very difficult for them. And in this energy, I see why. Because someone passed you up. So why should they get easy access to come back to you? You know your worth, Mary Kay. Very, very good, especially as a femme. All right, nine of cups. So now here comes the wish fulfillment. <laughs> You're going to give this person a chance. Yeah, the two pages here. Um, you actually might walk away or give them an ultimatum at first, 10 of wands, but then star card. This is meant to be, this is a cosmic connection. And I'm using the cosmic tarot um, for the personal readings this round. And I was asked to use that by spirit. So this is a cosmic connection for you. And then we have the page of wands with the page of cups and the ace of cups. This is like a redo. This is a renewal. And now with the two pages, I guess we're taking both. Um, it's like we have to start light. We got to whatever, whatever. Yeah, I want to look at the star card for you. You are building or probably rebuilding with someone. It didn't have solid foundation at first. So it's going to have more solid foundation now or that's the vibe of it. All right, let's look at their two of cups. This is like, now y'all are facing each other. Like there's the kiss, there's the connection. What is that for Mary Kay, please? Two of cups. Ace of cups at the bottom of the deck with the full. Wow, oh my God. Ace, three, two of swords. Ace, the three of swords, the two of swords. It's actually really good. Yeah, did this, has this person hurt you? Have you maybe cried or grieved about this person? Yeah. And it's like, you have to let this person know, like, do not do this to me again, right? Two of swords, the, in this deck, the two of swords, there, there are no blinders. So this is like someone sees you for who you are now. You see them for who they are now. And it feels really, 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 really good. See, in this deck, the queen of swords, there's the lovers back there. So again, it's like, even if someone didn't go like hook up with someone else, like whatever they did was enough for you to be like, oh, hell no, you're not going to do that to me. You know what I mean? You've stood your ground. You've held your ground. This person is like dying to come back in your life. Wow. And, and you make your own decisions, right? You have your own free will. This is just the energy of that you make your own decisions. All right, Mary Kay, that's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading next time.